This video is for karate, for beginners. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, how we start a class and end classes. First thing I'm going to show you is horse stance. You take your legs shoulder width apart, you bend your knees, push them out to the side, make fists, curl the fingers, then the thumb on the first two fingers, hand to the side. This is your horse stance. This is good for stability and uh, balance. Now from here, how we start in the Kepo Karate is we're going to bow with the fist like this, hand here, we slide our feet together, and we bow. That's how we do it in the Kepo Karate. Now in some other uh, martial arts, you bow with your feet together and bow this way, or you just simply out here, or you even bow on your knees, the hands down, and bow. Bowing is a form of respect from the instructor to the student and the student to the instructor. Alright, let's move on from here. We're going to go back to the horse stance. Legs shoulder width apart. Bend the knees, push them out, hands to the side. What we're going to do is an inward block. It's important to block because if someone's throwing a strike at you, you want to block it before you're able to strike them. So just get that off of you. So what we're going to do is pick your hand up here like a waving hello with the hand closed. Bring it across your body, you're going to hit with the, between the wrist and the elbow, right on the forearm here. So from here, pick it up and across. Alright, let's try this out. Pick up the hand, bring it across to you, and back. Let's go back to the other side. Pick it up, come across, and back. There's your inward block. So from here, we're going to do two of them. Now from here, I'm going to show you the karate punch. What you do is take your hand, you're going to twist it out, bring it in front of you. What you want to do is there's a center line in your body. You want the knuckle to come out in that center line. Make sure that you hit the first knuckle. Some believe that you hit with the first two, but that does is weaken your wrist. If you lock this out, make sure that knuckle is lined up with your arm and flat on the top. So you hit it with the first knuckle. So from here, twist it out, out. I think of reaching out and grabbing M&Ms out of a bowl. Alright, ready? Here we go. Punch. Good. Other hand. Punch. Let's try it again. Punch. Now from here, you take this and correct yourself. So from holding your hand out here like this, say you punch, boom, wrong technique, let's fix it. From here, punch, oh wrong, let's fix it. What you're going to do is you're Go to fix yourself here. You're getting yourself muscle memory by repeating this. You know it's wrong when you're here, so fix it up and you'll throw a proper punch more efficiently when you do this. So now we're going to throw the punch at a faster pace here. We're not going to leave it out there. Punch and bring it back. So you hit and return it. Now this here I think is the game of tag. So we were doing tag, boom. When I play tag, I tag, I come back to base, safety. So from here, I punch, bring my hand, this is my safety on my hips. So from here, don't get tagged back. Punch, bring it back. Now think of, your, think of that you are tagging the fastest kid in the neighborhood. Punch, bring it right back. Alright, let's try this out. You ready? Go! Move! Move! Good, very good. Okay, next we're going to do is mix the two things we learned here, the blocking and the punching. So we go back to that horse stance here, bend those knees, drop your weight. You want your back straight, hands on your hips. Make sure your elbow is behind you. You don't want to be like this. Elbows are poking out behind you. Alright, now from here, pick it up, block in, block in, throw the punch, throw the punch. Okay, so here it is. Block, block. Punch, punch. Let's try it again. Flack in, flack in, punch, and punch. So a little faster. Now, when you're training, you can pick up some bags like this and get a partner to train with you. When you hit it on the bags, you can block it in here and punch it straight in. What that's doing there, that's going to help your coordination. And plus, I listen to like a rhythm. I think of music when I do that. You get a beat and a rhythm. All right, now, let's move on to some kicking. You're going to take your feet close together here. This is a neutral position. I pick up my hands. I'm going to pick up the knee. 
Point your foot out, bring it back, set it down. The part of your foot you want to use is the ball of the foot, right underneath the toes. So from here, knee comes up, kick, bring it back. Turn to the side, knee up, kick, bring it back. Now from here, I get the bag a little high here, kick high. I prefer not to kick high. I do that for sparring and practice and having fun. But when you're kicking, right to the knee or the groin area would be more efficient. So from here, here with the bottom of the foot, strike it in, hold it back. There's four counts to this kick. One, pick it up. Two, kick out. Three, bend the back. Four, set it down. A great way to practice this is if you're taking the pads, put anything on the floor. If you want to put a pillow on the floor, stack up a few pillows, preferably something that will not hurt your foot. You can pick it up, kick over, bring it back. That's going to help you. That's going to help your foot or pick up your leg to here and back. So there's your front kick, right foot, left foot. It's important to breathe when you do this. If you don't breathe out, it's going to resist, your, your muscles are going to start getting tensed. And if you're getting hit when you're doing the strike and you're not breathing out, it's going to knock the air out of you. So at least when you're breathing out, when you do any of these strikes and, next, and they hit you in the stomach, you're already breathing out. The air is not getting knocked out of you. Alright, let's move on to the back kick. The back kick, we're going to pick up the knee, lean forward, kick back, bring it back, set it down. You're going to use the heel. So from here, lift, look, kick, and back. And back. You could do kicking over objects to do this kick also. Now from here, the other leg, pick it up, kick, and back. Now here's a tip to make this a little bit easier. Bend your knees slightly, kind of crouch down here a little bit, so when you lean, kick, and back, you're balancing your body. Here's your back kick. Important, you want to look over your shoulder and see where you're kicking. If you don't see where you're kicking, you may miss your target for one. Another thing is, what if someone grabs you from behind and playing around, all of a sudden, boom, you kicked your friend. Alright, so now you got your block, you got your blocks, you got your punching, you got front kick and back kick. Let's move on to a self defense technique. Say someone's throwing a punch, step forward. Throw your inward block, now we're going to throw the punch, punch, now let's throw a front kick, front kick. So now here's the punch coming, block the punch, twist out, throw a punch, pick your knee up, and throw the front kick. Let's try that one more time. Block, punch, kick. So there's a tape one for karate for beginners. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me some comments. I'll be glad to answer it and guide you. I will be having more videos on this and uh, teach everyone who wants to do karate a little bit of basics here and we'll be moving on to getting a little more difficult things. Alright, thank you.